Okay, welcome to another one of my videos. This is just a practical demonstration of what I, one of the uses that I'm using my multi-edit screen set for. That's one that I uh, built earlier with a video on how I've done that. But you'll notice that's even that's evolved a little bit now. I now have a uh, little bit of a track header showing here just so I can see the track number and the icon. And that's really just there so I can quickly resize tracks either by double clicking to max them out and restore or just by click drag in to resize obviously that's quite helpful I've also increased the height of the console view down here uh, and that's really so I can just include the MSR buttons and now can solo out or mute tracks as and when I want without actually having to go anywhere else over on my left hand monitor I have the inspector but if I was working on a solo monitor or you are you can just as easily drag that across floating so you can see that if you want to and obviously you can still hide that and call it back with the I key press and what I have here is I've got a couple of envelopes and I'm going to be using the shift and right click and also the insert uh, nodes at selection which is just done with one click now uh, and I'm cutting out sibilance from a, a vocal that I've got over a backing track here uh, it's got a great voice but she's got quite a lot of sibilance in it uh, so I'm just uh, using High frequency Q, which I'm widening. That's the red envelope at the top here. And I've also got my shift and right click. That, that changes between the last two edit filter states. And I've got high frequency gain here. And obviously I'm reducing that uh, in the same spots to try and reduce that sibilance. So if I just start playing back Smile! Here, Why is everybody so serious? You can hear there's a bit there, so I'm just going to uh, use the bottom half of the clip and sweep drag to select. And then in the top half or top 25% of the clip, I'm going to left click and drag down. That reduces the gain. I'm then going to shift and right click, which highlights the last used envelope, which is the high frequency Q. And again, using the top 25%, click and drag up to increase that. And as you can see, that's a very quick way be so serious going through and reducing some of that sibilance uh, so that's a practical demonstration on my multi-edit screen set which i hope somebody finds useful but obviously you can use it for anything it's uh, just a matter of the bring up the hub with the middle mouse to change the filters for whatever you want but that's what i use it for mainly it's just for envelope editing uh, and anything where i want a little bit of detail and then, of course, once I've finished doing that, I can just switch straight back to a different view. Anyway, hope that helps. Thanks.